What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today's video is gonna be a little short because I'm a little bit of a, on a business trip. So today's video is starting out in beautiful Los Angeles, California. So why I'm here is a whole nother story. I actually made some videos, but I'll post them when they're ready. But I decided to reach out to Mike from MFR Engineering because I figured it would be worth the time to pick up some stuff that we, uh, we've been working on together and just save a little money on shipping. So that's why we're here is to pick up some parts for uh, the Challenger and uh, talk about what we sort of uh, put together. So let's get inside, get these parts because we got to hit the road again. All right. What's up, Mike? What's up, Ryan? How are you? Pretty good, man. Pretty excited to see what uh, what you got for me here, man. Yeah, we got a cast on splitter uh, based off of uh, the Demon and the uh, Red Eye front end, because that's what you upgraded to. Yes, sir. And you got the wide body, so this is the cast mounted splitter. Man, it's, look how uh, wide that is. 6061 T6 aircraft made aluminum. So it's super strong, super light, and um, we have the recess cut out. For your oil drain, oh, your nice. hardware. So this thing's gonna be. And that's the hardware too. Yeah. So you got extra hardware. You got your chassis brackets, and then like I explained, it's gonna look like the front end on this orange one. Nice. So yeah, it's gonna be super solid, man. So I was telling uh, the viewers earlier that this is just really the first part of a big project we're working on together. Uh, I know you beat this one up for me for the racing, but we've got other aero coming out. Yeah, diffuser, uh, under panels. Actually, I. I the, the red eye we have there, we're doing the full underlay on that one. So that one's a Texas mild car. So those big panels right there, those are the under panels for it. So these panels right here are what's going to go underneath the Challenger? Under, yeah. So this is, would be our race package, which seals the complete bottom except for lift points. And it does not seal the exhaust because if you seal the exhaust, your cabin temps are going to go through the roof, and I don't think you're wearing a cool suit, are you? So I, I mean, I'm wearing a whole suit, but not a cold suit. Yeah, so yeah, the cool suit. Um, for dedicated race cars, which we've done several of them, um, we do the full coverage, but those cars have uh, knock ducks and stuff like that to help the heat escape and stuff like that. So, I mean, that's possible too in the future if you want to do it, but uh, we haven't had anybody not like this setup, so... And we've had several Hell Hellcats that track track on this setup, so you'll you'll like it. Man, I'm I'm really excited. Uh, Mike, he always takes care of everybody. Uh, the fact that he took the time out of his day, because like I said, I'm here just for a business trip to uh, you know meet up with me and talk about what he did for me. Uh, that means a lot to me. So guys, uh, stay tuned because I'm going to do an install video, and then as I continue to collect some of these parts, I'll keep installing them on the car and telling you guys how uh, what changes it makes. So uh, Mike, I appreciate you so much, brother. Of course, bro. I need time. Anytime. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side, brother. All right, guys, I am back from California. And uh, I had filmed uh, this part of the video at the end of uh, my meeting with Mike. But I sort of rushed through it because I had to get back to work. And I didn't really uh, talk about what I wanted to talk about. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So the reason why I chose uh, Mike at MFR Engineering was I was already using his products. Now, that first splitter that I did the giveaway on, uh, it was... Uh, robust enough to do what I needed to do, but I still needed something stronger to generate some downforce. So after Optima New Orleans, Mike and I got together and we started talking about what I'm gonna do with the car, what I currently do with the car, and how to keep, uh, make a robust aero package that would still fit in the constraints of the Optima rules so it doesn't push me to a different class, as well as be good enough for some other events that I'm planning on doing. Uh, you know, uh, as long as this Corona doesn't keep canceling events. So when I got with Mike, uh, we discussed uh, what kind of arrow I was looking for. Uh, he went out and designed it and we did the front splitter portion. Uh, he did mention in the video, I think, that uh, he made it uh, stronger for me. So while I was at the shop, we started discussing the rear diffusers and sort of what I'm looking for uh, with the events that I'm doing and some changes you can make to the curved diffuser that uh, he produces now. So long story short, we came up with a game plan. Um, he's gonna start making that rear diffuser for me and it should be here at the end of July. So I need to make some changes to the front of the car currently in order to put this new uh, front uh, front splitter on there and uh, then we'll start working on the rear splitter. So keep an eye out for those videos. Um, of course, I'm gonna test these products, which is the best part because I'm gonna see a change in uh, the way the car is handled. So if you guys like these videos, uh, you know what to do. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, if you want something specific that you want to see, leave a comment below. And if you love these videos, hit that subscribe button and ding that little bell for me, will you? So until next time, guys, peace out.